the A bones. Uh, you guys are on a tour. Wait, I want to get those. Miriam, could you pull those two posters down? Because the same kind of thing as the white glare. I want to. I want to come over and get one. Here, talk to them. For me. Wow, the movie's closed already. <laughs> take one down and pass it around. At least you're not taking down our Danny no, Tom. At least you're not taking down our Danny Thomas show sign here. No, they're supposed to. Well, the camera's got to cut to me first. I mean, okay, yeah. See, I'm, I'm really... The self-centeredness of show business, really. Yeah, I'm just really, really excited because the new Kicks is out, you know? And, okay, I mean, well, these guys are here, and, yeah. and and this is here. It's like, what Dominic, you'll be less excited when no, I no, have you pay for is that, the, uh, Dominic is the uh, <laughs> uh, editor of the Dumb Angel Gazette, which comes out uh, sporadically. Brian Wilson, Surf Woo! Music Specter, Tot Rod Music kind of magazine. Yeah, but I probably wouldn't have done it if I hadn't read this magazine. I'll yeah, tell you that much. Oh, for your, totally. For your whole life. Completely. How long has Kicks been coming out? Since 1979, shortly after Bruce went to the Loggins and Messina show. <laughs> oh. That was a good year for rock and roll, 79, wasn't it? Oh, one of the best. <laughs> yeah, I was working at Casablanca around then. It was uh... oh, a... Working... Yeah, I know. Talk about the belly of the beast. Uh... <laughs> 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 it was tough. You know, that was the year I uh, I figured it was all going right, though, because I bolted from Casablanca in March, and then I went to England with Ray Campy and toured rockabilly places for like a month. And, you know, I went to one of those things. Have you been, you been to England? Yep. You been to any of those big rock and roll shows that nope. Teddy Boys have? It's so weird, you know, you know, 1979. My hair's too curly. They won't let me in. 1979 is like the worst, you know, the worst year for music ever. And... Uh, and I went over there to that rock and roll show, and there's like 3,000, you know, people with 50 stuff on, dancing to Gene Vincent and uh, Eddie Cochran stuff. And I thought, like, I, you know, died and gone to heaven, you know. So England, in that case, of appreciating American stuff, was ahead of us uh, as far as having it organized, because there's no similar scene here. Uh, what I'm saying is also that there must be a sufficient scene here these days to keep you guys afloat. You're touring America right now, right? Yeah. So Around what uh, what time. towns? What kind of places have you been playing? You been on any double bills that I'd know over? You just playing solo? Oh, we played with ourselves in Tuscaloosa, yeah, so to speak. <laughs> no, we played with the we played with the Leroy's down in Austin. The Leroy brothers, so, yeah. Yeah, New Orleans. And now you're in L.A. Where are you heading? We played with the Hoods, with the boys in the Hood last night. No, you played with the Hoods yep. last night. Um, that's down in San Diego. Uh, so where are you heading to complete the tour? Uh, San Francisco, then a bunch of dates in the Northwest, then the Midwest, including your own beloved Chicago. You know, uh, I always ask this for lesser-known bands that are touring. I mean, it's an amazing thing that you can get on the road at all, regardless of how good you... You can't get less known than us. It's regardless of how... Well, we got recognized in the Salvation Army, so that was, you know... Where? Uh, Alabama. We got recognized as what? Shoplifters. Uh, well, come on. <laughs> no, we got... Oh, look, hey, the A-Bones are... A-Bones, huh? What? Yeah. Well, when you get up to Seattle, are you going to Seattle? Yeah. The world's biggest goodwill is up there. I took a picture of it back in 71 when I went through there. And I found, take this. Now, this is one of the worst things. I talked about walk, the stupidest walkout I did, which was walking out on Louis Jordan in 1974 because I didn't know who he was. Uh -huh. Well, the, the worst <laughs> thrift store experience happened to me in Seattle when I found half a copy of That's All Right Mama. Ooh. It was like, uh, so you might Ooh. be up there trying. Like right down the wow. Side. More or less, yeah. That's like oh, the, I see what you mean. That's like yeah. the Superman episode where they're looking for the Kwan Yun Jay. <laughs> oh, it's, I wrote about it. I wrote about it in Kicks. I know our That's third concert. Yes. <laughs> nah. That's right. That's right. Uh, this thing here is a movie that you say you're in. The I was a teenage mummy. Yeah, we do two songs. We're the band that plays at a dance. Is there any likelihood that anybody's going to see this movie? Um. Probably those people whose names are listed on the bottom, they'll see it. And, you know, maybe their parents. Well, it's available in video shops. I see. Uh, and and you, you had mentioned the skeletons earlier. They, yeah. They're they in the dance scene. Is Johnny dance Legend in this the, one? He's in most of the Mummy like movies. Like true Midwesterners. Is, is Johnny Legend in this movie? No, Johnny... All movies with mummies I thought he was in. Yeah, no. No, no that's it. And boy, is he pissed. <laughs> Are you guys into that monster thing? Because you also did a thing on the Del Airs in your new issue. From the Horror Party Beats. From Mary's the Horror. Playing their drums right now. Really? That's the Del Airs drum kit? You know it. S see, that, that's the drum kit that the zombie, stomp, the zombie Stomp was played on in the movie Horror Party Beach then, eh? Uh, well, correction. Actually, those drums that are presented in the movie itself are... Um, not his drums. Oh, They're okay. They're simply Gretsch drums that were Stand in drums. However, these are Provide the real drums. Sort of like B Bobby Fuller played the wrong uh, right. instruments uh, that we, we found out that thanks to you. So. Yeah. 
What did you find? Ghost in the, well, in Ghost in the Invisible Bikini. Is that the movie? Me, what's the movie? Ghost, Ghost in the Invisible Bikini. Uh -huh. Bobby Fuller 4 are playing uh, the wrong instruments. They're playing Vox amps when they hated Vox amps. <laughs> <laughs> I love Vox amps, but Bobby Fuller didn't. I mean, so. But, I mean, I, I found out about that in Kicks, so. Another good they reason. be telling us, not me. Yeah, another good reason to get the magazine. Uh, we have, we're have we lucky to have the, the excellent Don Miss Raji directing this thing. However, I haven't seen the name of the A-Bones come up too much while they're playing, so I'd like to uh, billboard this swell band. Uh, next, uh, next up, fellas, fellas and gal, what do you got to play for us? Why don't we feature Miriam on one of her own compositions? What would this composition be called? Go Betty Go. Go Betty Go. Watch out, folks. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. That's 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 showbiz. Stop that out, man. Yeah. Oh, you'll never see this. Oh, but yeah, go right yeah, ahead. Yeah. yeah. Okay. You. So you left out the second. So you left out the second verse, and it's over for that song. That's right. You guys are talking. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four.
and gentlemen, that was the A-Bones with Go Granny Go. What? I can't hear you. Go, go, go Betty Go. Oh, I'm sorry. Go Betty Go. I, you know, I'm from Pasadena, so I have to ask that question or say that. We drove Art out of the room. Yeah, yeah you, you did drive Art. And I am the host now, so, so I have to... going to look for the other half of that uh, Elvis 78. No, <laughs> I think so. Well, the thing I wanted to uh, well, ask you guys is, uh, you know, Kix Magazine, you did it, started doing it in 79, and I'll tell you, every time I get an issue of Kix, I can't put it down for like about two months, and then I can't put it down for the next four months, and then once I'm finished with it, I don't let it out of my sight and don't let anybody ever borrow it because I have to, you know, be able to refer to it all the time, and so I got to, I mean, I just want to express that at least, and, and now I think art is back. Okay, I got to get Jesse on the show because she hasn't been on in a while, hope I don't knock her over. Um, well, you know, we only got two minutes left. I just ran out to get Jessie because she hasn't been on a show in a couple months. She's a dog. I think so. Uh, so will you be back? It's, it's, it's like uh, mid-80-92 now. Do you expect to be doing another <laughs> West Coast tour? Um, I don't know. We'll, we shall see. We'll do what the public demands, Art. <laughs> if there's a change in the business, we'll go with that change. <laughs> okay, well. We'll be back. Bye, bye, bye soon. soon. All right. Well, I'm gonna dash. It's New York. I mean, they, they New well, I'm gonna I'm gonna dash out now with Jesse, so she doesn't get her ears blown out. And uh, I'll see. That's true. But the show's over, Dom, because uh, they're just gonna go out on the last song, and uh, they're gonna run the credits over you guys. So, thanks, A Bones. What'll this song be? Yeah, as long as we're in California, we'll do go 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 for Louis Place by the. I got a big date with my baby. Thank you.